the Avengers are coming back, and it sounds like it will be their biggest outing yet. The team's third movie, which will include more Marvel Cinematic Universe characters than any previous film or show, is fast approaching. Let's dig into what we know about the heroes' next fight in Avengers. Infinity War and maybe later we can discuss how it will likely destroy everything we thought we knew about the MCU. Yes, finally. Watch it here. Sounds like the trailer is a bit different from the footage shown at San Diego Comic Con and Disney's D23 over the summer. We do know it's going to be a heist film with Thanos at the center of it. The Russo brothers told CNET's Aaron Carson as much last month. With Infinity War, the biggest new element to the movie is Thanos and the fact that he's entering the storytelling in a very bold, strong way, to the degree that he's almost one of the leads. We've shaped an interesting narrative around him that in some ways leans heavily on a heist film in the fact that he's going after the Infinity Stones in a much bolder, successful way than he has in the past. The entire movie has that energy of the bad guy being one step ahead of the heroes. We looked at a lot of movies that had that heist style energy to them and that brought some inspiration. Is someone gonna die? Well, yes, that is the speculation, especially considering what Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige told Vanity Fair about the expansive MCU stories. Okay, are you cool, cool, cool? Basically, if you care about any of the last decade's MCU characters, be prepared to have your heart broken. The Russo brothers also told Vanity Fair that they were told who they could kill, which I think means death is definitely coming for someone. Check out the piece above and VF's cover story for more little tidbits. If you've watched the Ewa trailer but still haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, you've probably noticed that the God of Thunder is sporting a new eyepiece. Long story short, he looks a lot more like Odin, and added benefit a lot more badass. But you should probably still check out Ragnarok, because it's awesome, and so you can see the mid-credits scene where Thor, Bruce Banner and Loki, and Breakout Starkorg, see the ship overtaken by a significantly larger ship. Seems pretty likely that ship is Thanos, and that this scene will roll directly into the first scene Marvel showed at SDCC. According to Slashfilm, that footage began with Thor floating through space and coming to land on the Guardian's ship as he remarks, something is very wrong. If we assume the Asgardian ship encounter is one of the first things to happen in Iwa, other pieces of the trailer begin to fall into place. We see Banner stunned on the floor of Doctor Strange's mansion, presumably after being flung through space after a battle. Shortly after, he's seen with Strange, Wang and Tony Stark both inside the mansion, and then in a fight on the street outside. This is all pure speculation of course, but isn't it fun? Where do you think the plot is going to go from there? We'll be updating this piece consistently until the movie's opening would love to add any great theories. Directors. The Russo brothers, who also directed Captain America. The Winter Soldier and Captain America. Civil War. Starring. The real question is who? Asterisk ISN apostrophe T asterisk in Infinity War, and it's a short list. Here are the confirmed stars. No word on whether we'll actually see Brie Larson pop up as Captain Marvel. 
Her film isn't due until 2019, and it will be set in the 90s, so honestly who knows. Marvel has done Stranger Things. Soon, sort of. Originally set to be the first in a two part series, Infinity War became a standalone film before filming began in 2016. It currently has a release date of April 25 in Australia, April 27 in the UK, and May 4 in the US. Meet the Black Panther, ruler of Wakanda. CNET magazine interviewed Chadwick Boseman and learned just how he came up with that accent. How to watch every Marvel property in the perfect order. From Marvel films to the shows on Netflix, here's the best order to experience the MCU.